Yo, what's up, peeps? Matty B here, Vinda Black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, physical well-being, and helping you get over your uh, emotional crap with your parents, because I am your uh, life coach on that. So, today's video, uh, maybe, the, maybe the title has scared you or startled you in some phase, you know, being the uh, stock, market, uh, stock market crash of 2018. Now, before you freak out, hear me out in this video here, and I, I won't try to make this very long, because there's not a whole lot of information on this, um, you know, you know, and as you know, my channel is mainly about my parents, but um, there's other aspects, you know, your, your emotional health, your physical well-being, and then then there's your financial abundance, financial well-being, okay? And that's important um, because financial world affects pretty much everything. And if you have jacked up views of money and shit, that's going to mess up, you know, uh, how you handle money, make money, all this stuff. So, with that being said, what's going on? Um, I've just started recently getting investing about maybe two, three months ago. Uh, and as I got into it, I saw um, a video came across um, two people actually, uh, Jack Chappelle and another guy, which I'll put in the links below for their YouTube channel so you can go through this. And actually, there's one about this way before last year with Grant Cardone, if you're ever familiar with him. Um, he said that, that the market will take a dip at some point. And people have been talking about this. If you follow any sort of um, financial advice from anyone, and besides the mainstream news, Ever since 2008, actually, the Great, the Great Recession, there have been people who've been saying, oh no, 2008 was, just, was, was a warm up. Like, they're saying that there's gonna be a crash. Now, statistically speaking, the US has had a recession every four to 10 years. So guess what, it's 2017, the last recession we had was 2008. Next year's 2018, that's what, 10 years? So. What they're saying is, brace yourself, there's a good probability that the market will take a dip again, as usual. Um, as usual. As always, the, micro, the, 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 market, the economy goes in a cycle. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. That's what you know for sure. It goes up, it goes down. Too many people freak out about the down. They want to get in They want to get in while it's hot, while it's up, and then freak out when, when, when it goes down. When that's not the way to play the game of investing, or at least being in the economy, or working with the economy to make money. So... What I've learned so far is that there's a good chance the economy the will take it will take a dive sometime next year, if not to 2019. That's the call. I'm gonna stick with that. Um, you know, as far as my opinion, I'm not some financial guru or or wizard, but if you if you listen to other people like Ray Dalio and do your own research, you find out they know what they're talking about. I'm gonna share with you with, with what I know to pass along to you. So that when this happens, the market will take a dive. That's a given, okay? As far as when it's tough to call, that's like almost impossible. It's not a matter of, it's not a matter of if at this point, it's a matter of when. That's a fact, just know that it's gonna happen again. Now, if you know it's gonna happen again, um, the question is, what do you do? And here's the thing, the question to ask you is, instead of just surviving these things, which everyone focuses on, what you don't realize is that when, there, when there's a recession or depression, that's like the best time to thrive and make a crap ton of money and build wealth. Contrary to what we're, all, what we're taught in the popular belief, it's true. The Great Depression, as shitty as it was for a lot of people, those also at the same time when in history of the world, or at least the United States, you look this up, when the most millionaires were created. I'm gonna say it again. The Great Depression was a time in history when the most millionaires were created, at least in the United States, when a whole bunch of people were poor and couldn't get by a lot, there are, uh, uh, there are some there are some people, okay, who got rich. Now, if that happened once, it can happen again. There were also people who also thrived and profited, excuse me, during the uh, 2008 recession. Not the bankers who, who fucked it up and got paid bonuses, but there are people who knew it was coming, people who listened to people who knew it was coming and took their advice and put the money in different things and actually got the profit and had made money while everyone else freaked out and lost money. It was like, holy, sh holy shit, what's going on? So the question is, which side do you wanna be on? The side that is going to go through go through that pain again, or in the, if not, this will be your first, first major recession or a depression, whatever it could be or a side that's going to know about it ahead of time and prepare now for it and be able to and stand to profit from it. You can do that, that's your choice. I can't decide for you, 
but I prefer for you to win with me, let's win together and profit. Because the, the truth of the matter is when it comes to money investing stock market, what I've learned from Jack Chappelle is that you keep buying. When the market's up, you buy. When the market goes down, you buy. When the market goes up, you buy. When the market goes down, you keep buying. Because over the long term, you progressively make more money. If you want to wait, which I'm thinking about doing right now, my own investment strategy is buying stocks now, holding, and then when everything takes a dip, just wait, 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 wait. Buy when it's mad cheap, okay? Hold on and it's going back up and keep buying more. That's money, that's wealth of money made from simply just being smart about it, having a good strategy, and you know, obviously creating a portfolio where it can weather all types of economic storms. That way, when something dips, you still make money, and when something else dips, you still make money. There's a lot to it. I'll try to keep it simple in this video, but there is, I do believe there is another recession. Hopefully a recession. <laughs> not a, some people I've come across have said, we're gonna go through like a fucking economic collapse where everything's gonna be disrupted, Banks will shut down like it's a total new way of living that's like, holy shit. Now, in that situation, you can still make a lot of money, but that's where you get social disruption, you get wars and stuff because everything just gets smacked in the face and people are like, whoa, what the fuck's going on? Hoping that hasn't happened, but I think that I've, from the evidence research I've done with uh, Harry Dent and the Fed Reserve, and the, basically it, everything's in a bubble. I'm making this real simple, but do your research. Everything's in a bubble. Student loan debt is in a bubble. The Fed printing money is in a bubble, like social media in a bubble, and bubbles burst at some point, and that's when everything gets fucked up. It's also a time where you can make a lot of money. So basically, basically the whole world is gonna come to a, It's gonna, and by the way, this, 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 this next crash, correction, whatever you wanna call it, is not gonna be stuck in the United States. Everything is now connected globally, our economies, China's economy fucks up, it affects our economy, our economy fucks up, affects them. It, it all, everything's connected. So when this happens, everything's, it's not, you can't, you won't be able to go to another country to escape. It's gonna be worldwide, which is gonna be really different because no one has ever experienced before and no one knows really to like what to expect. And that's the scary part and that's the truth. Um, but here's the thing, if you know what's gonna happen, you can't know much about it. You might as well prepare yourself and stand to profit and also, protect, and also protect yourself and your family. That's what I'm looking to do, that's what I'm planning on doing. And whatever I learn about this, I will share it with you, give you the resources, where I learned this, where I learned this from, and trust me, you wanna you wanna be on the train to profit and 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 you know, not just weather the storm, but thrive and make it a good time. And it's not gonna be easy for everybody, but I mean, hey, it's kinda like this. It, it, this came down to your health. If the doctor said, by the way, Looks like you're gonna have a heart attack within the next one to two years. But you can prevent it, and in preventing it, also improve your health dramatically so that you'll never get sick ever again. Now, if you knew that, what would you do? Let the heart attack happen? Or be like, oh shit, let me prevent this and get healthier and have a better quality of life? Fuck yeah, that's what I would do. It's like this, it's like, hey, here's some shit storm coming, put in this storm, in this storm, if you listen to me and everyone, everyone else, and do it, and you take my heed, my advice, you'll profit, you make a lot of money, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be good, you'll be, you'll have peace of mind. And once it's done, hey, life will go on, and you'll be better off than you were before. Hmm. Again, your choice, but it's coming. Can't stop it. Miles will uh, go with the flow, and shit, profit from it, bro, or woman, man, you know, whoever watching this. But yeah. So that's a little warning, not to scare people, but you know, 2018 is gonna be an interesting year. Um, like I said, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, as far as when exactly, you don't know. Tough to call, but it's the way things are right now. So I'm hoping that it's just a, you know, recession, not, not a global depression where everything just gets disrupted and you're like, oh, and then there's protests like what happened in World War II, like the depression, it was 10 years and it took like a world war for the whole world to get out of it, which is sick if you think about it. Hopefully it was gonna happen, but you never know. No one can predict what the market's gonna do. If you do, you're lucky, but it's a matter of just being prepared for any scenario so that when something does, so that when something does happen, you're not gonna have guard. You're like, all right, cool, I'm prepared for this, you know, hey. Um, and I'm also prepared to also stand the profit. Might as well. Find a silver lining. But anyways. 
Um, let's turn your thought. Like this video, comment below what your thoughts on this. What are you trying to do prepare if you know about this? And uh, check the resources I have below. Um, if you're watching this on my blog or on my YouTube channel, and um, I subscribe for more information on stuff like this, so not to set profit from this coming recession, depression, and also how to have a better life, you know, in all areas, you know, especially, especially when it comes to helping you get over stuff from your parents, the emotional bullshit you face. So, appreciate you, love you, getting it black. Let me know what your thoughts are. Peace.